Shabbat Shalom, sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Vestures Woman channel. Today, we are going to ask ourselves the great question. Who sits on the throne room of your heart? Who sits on the throne room of your heart? In Oxford Dictionary, Throne is special chair for a king or queen or the position of being a king. And um, heart, heart is the organ of the body that makes the blood circulate. Hmm, that is, if it is the most, if it is the most high, a, a higher, I am that I am, sitting on the throne room of your heart, he will circulate his spirit to lead everything we do. Hallelujah. His spirit is the life in us. Just as blood is the life in our body, true oxygen without blood flowing in our veins we are dead so without his spirit flowing in our lives we are walking dead as well there's nothing we can do without holy spirit and when we allow him on the throne room of our hearts he will control our affairs leads our affairs hallelujah he will be there in our feelings emotions feeding us with his word to calm us down giving us courage in time of storm the storm it could be any storm in our lives hardship difficulties anything even sickness. Heart is also a middle or most important organ in our body. Most high is the center of our lives. He is the most important part of our lives. That is, we cannot live without him. His spirit pumps like a blood in our body from our head to toe. His spirit pumps in our lives, direct us, guide us. His spirit leads us, he guides, he guides us to direct us, to guard us, to protect us, to enlighten us, to save us, to bless us. To nourish us, to empower us, and to teach us. Hallelujah. Just like the functions of the blood in the body from the heart. A spirit removes impur impurities in our lives. Holy Spirit removes impurities in our lives. Like hatred, envy, jealousy, stealing, adultery. Malice, covetousness, lust, disobedience, lies, anger, arguments, selfishness, arrogancy, and more. As we allow him on the throne room of our hearts, he will, re he will remold us. He will remold us from bad to good. He will remold us. He will reshape us. Like before, we allow him on the throne room of our hearts. We might be doing different things that is not of God. Immediately, we allow him. He will sit on the throne room of our hearts. He will lead our life. Holy Spirit will start speaking and guiding us. Holy Spirit will let, like there's a song that says, what I do. 
before. I do them no more since I met Christ. So like immediately he comes to our lives, everything changed. We'll, everything we've been doing before, we'll do them no more. So he'll be molding us to his way, to the way of righteousness, to the way of light, to see the truth, to know the light. Yeah, he will, he will, he will, he will shape us to what he wants us to be. He will take hold a bit away from us. He will renew our spirits. He will wash us with the blood of the Lamb. He will put on our spirit man garment of salvation. Hallelujah. His presence will dwell with us. Hallelujah. When his presence dwells with us, he will start guiding us. Everything that he doesn't want in our lives, he will start teaching us. He will start bringing his light, shedding his light on our path, in our way. My daughter, don't put the makeup on. You are beautiful the way you are. My daughter, don't do anything to your skin. You are fresh and I love you the way you are. He will be guiding us. His spirits will be talking. My daughter, you don't need to put on eye ears. The eye that I created you is the perfect one. Putting on eye ears is just like lie. He will start shaping us, removing us, putting us in the right path. What we always want before we have accepted him as our Lord, our Savior, what we always do before, we will feel no more like doing it. We will, know, we will no more want it. We will no more go to it. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. When we are pure in heart, we shall see God. When our heart is pure, when we allow him to sit on the throne room of our heart, we will see God because he will dwell with us. And he said, we are blessed. Hallelujah. In Psalms 19 verse 14. Psalms 19 verse 14 says, Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. That means everything we say and everything we're thinking will be acceptable before him because he will guide our thoughts. When any evil thought flash in our mind, we will have the consciousness to block it off by the help of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Romans. Chapter 8, verse 27. Romans chapter 8, verse 27 says, And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. See, he will make inter inter intercession for us according to the will of God. That means we will not pray amiss. Holy Spirit will lead us. He will guide us. I will pray. Sometimes we just start praying and we will still praying certain things. We will know why we are praying. Holy Spirit is speaking. is leading. is directing. Hallelujah. Is your heart clean? Is your heart clean? Is your heart pure? Is your heart true to the most high? Has it been purified with the blood of the Lamb? Has it? Has your spirit been renewed? Has it been renewed? Is your heart a strong room? As heaven is a strong. In, as, as asking, I'm paraphrasing of Isaiah 66 verse 1. And he knows the heart of all men. That says in act. Chapter 1, verse 24. He knows all what is in our hearts. Everything in our thoughts, he knows it. Because it says in Psalms that darkness is just like a normal delight before him. Yes. Hallelujah. His law is written in our hearts. That's in Romans chapter 2, verse 15. That's paraphrase to get the point there. 
Are you calling on his on him out of pure heart? That's Timothy and T and Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Hallelujah. Let's open to Hebrew chapter 10. Hebrew chapter 10. Hebrew chapter 10, verse 22. Hebrew chapter 10, verse 22 and 23. Say, let us draw near with a true heart. A true heart. Let us draw near to the most high, to I am that I am, with a true heart. In full assurance of faith. In full assurance of faith. We draw near to the most high with faith. In faith. Hallelujah. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our body washed in pure water. And verse 23 says, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, without wavering, without doubting. Hallelujah. For he is faithful that promised. Hallelujah. Achaia is faithful because he's the one that promised us. He is faithful. Hallelujah. If he is the one sitting on the throne room of your heart, you will akin to the voice of the Lord thy God. That's Exodus. Paraphrasing of Exodus Chapter 15, verse 26. You will akin to his voice to receive instruction. That's paraphrase of Jeremiah 32, verse 33. If he is the one sitting on the throne room of your heart, he will akin unto you. He will akin unto thy cry and to thy prayers. That's a, a paraphrase of first king. First Kings chapter 8, verse 28. And you will seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. If he's the one sitting on the throne room of your heart, your heart will rejoice in the Lord. That's in Psalms. And that's for Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. You will keep his statue with all your heart and all your Soul, that's Second Kings, chapter twenty-three, verse three. If he is the one sitting on the throne room of your heart, he shall give you the desire of your heart. Psalm thirty-seven, verse four, and he shall create in you a clean heart. That's Psalms fifty-one, verse ten. If the Most High, Ahaya, I am that I am, ancient of days, is the one sitting in the throne room of your heart. Hallelujah. He will raise your heart from death. Hallelujah. You hide his word in thy heart. Hallelujah. Amen. That's Romans 10 verse 9 and Psalms 119 verse 11. You will search for him with all your heart. That's Jeremiah 29, verse 13. If the Most High is the one sitting on the throne room of your heart, he shall write in your heart and be your God. It says in Jeremiah 31, verse 33, you will have a broken and a contrite heart. It says in Psalms 51 verse 17. You will trust him with all thy heart. Says Proverbs 3 verse 5. Hallelujah. If he is the one sitting on the throne room of your heart, he will be your treasure because where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. That says in Matthew Chapter 6, verse 21. If the Most High, Achaia, is the one sitting on the throne room of your heart, your heart will not be troubled. 
just says paraphrase of john chapter 14 verse 1 your heart will be circumcised circumcised in the spirits says in romans chapter 2 verse 29 because when your heart is circumcised you will be of god you will the things you used to do before you will not do it you will love god more you will know him more your heart will be aching for him all you will be thinking about will be him. So all how to please him, how to satisfy him, is all you'll be thinking. So you can how to long, you'll be longing to meet him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he is this is the one sitting on the throne room of your heart, your heart will know that your heart will know what is in the mind. Of the spirits hallelujah it says in Romans chapter 2 verse 27 hallelujah in Hebrew 10 verse 16 Hebrew 10 verse 16 it says this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days said the lord i will put my laws into their hearts his law will be in our hearts that means we will know what he wants what he doesn't want holy spirit will be telling us he will be leading us he will be guiding us his light will shine on our path hallelujah and he said and in their minds he said he will put his law in our he said i will put my law into their hearts and in their minds will i write them hallelujah he will put his law in our hearts and he will write it in our minds hallelujah hallelujah that means we will know what to do and what not to do just like now when we allow him to sit on the throne room of our heart he will be leading us he will shine in his light he'll be guiding us he'll be telling us what we should do what we should not do is now left to us to listen to obey because obedience is important is the key hallelujah on the throne room of your heart do away disobedience hallelujah do away arrogance do away pride of life do away with selfishness do away with hypocrisy do away with adultery do away with lust do away with flesh that's worldly things how do we want to look? Holy Spirit, we might have told you. My daughter, change what you are wearing. Dress modestly. Dress present. Um, dress modestly. Dr and be presentable. But you said, no, I want to dress this way. I want to dress that way. It will always lead. That, that's flesh. When you want your opinion to be over his own opinion, that is flesh. Spirit and flesh battles every single day. May God help us. Amen. Do away with covetousness. Do away with envy. Do away with hatred. It says in Levit Leviticus 19 verse 17 and then Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 29. Love your neighbor as yourself. Don't hate your brother. Hallelujah. And you will do away with all evils of life. Hallelujah. Don't be a fool that says in his heart there is no God. As it says in Psalms 14 verse 1, Let your spirit man be renewed with Holy Spirit. Let not your heart be far from him. As it says in Matthew chapter 15 verse 8, He came and harden not your heart as in the provocation. Hallelujah. Sanctify the Lord your God in your hearts. says in 1 Peter Chapter 3, verse 15. That's paraphrase or true. Sanctify him, praise him, love him, glorify him, hallelujah. Adore him, worship him, obey him, honor him. The most I am that I am, ancient of days, lily of the valley, rose of Sharon, lion of tribe of Judah, hallelujah. Love him, he will love you more. Of course, seek him with all your heart. And he shall be found. Hallelujah. Live for him alone. And he 
will be present in your life. Hallelujah. Be of him. He will show up in everything you do. Acknowledge him in all your ways. He will exalt you and give you peace that is sure. Hallelujah. He is a, he is a wonderful and faithful God. He is a just God. Hallelujah. Worship him in praise. He will surprise you. Hallelujah. He is faithful. He is powerful. He is merciful. He is glorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Philippians chapter 4. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. He says. And the peace of God. Which passed all understanding. Shall keep your hearts and minds. Through Christ Jesus. Amen. Peace of God shall keep our heart. Peace of God that surpasses, that surpasses understanding. Hallelujah. And in Revelation, that's our last passage. In Revelation chapter 5 verse 13. He says, And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them. Hear I say, blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that seated upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever amen 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 hallelujah allow him in the throne room of your heart he will give you everlasting life eternal life may the lord guide us may he be of us may he Help us. May he strengthen us in the name of Yeshua Christ. May he open our eyes. May he open our ears so that we can allow him in the throne room of our hearts, in our lives, so he can be as oxygen for us to live in spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Amen. If you have listened to me up to this hour, and you have not given your life to Christ. Please say these prayers after me. Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Jesus, I call him in Hebrew name, which is Yeshua. Yeshua. So it's Christ Jesus. Yeshua. Have mercy on me. I believe in your death and resurrection for me. Forgive me of all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Put on me garments of salvation. Renew right spirit within me. Grant me grace to follow you to the end. Amen. I pray with you with from Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19. He says, I pray Ahaya shall give you one heart. He shall put a new spirit within you. He shall take the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Amen. 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 If you have said this prayer with me, go to a Bible-believing church near you. Pray. Holy Spirit will take care of it from there. He will direct you through the baptism and the word of God. Get the word of God and read and study and read. And Holy Spirit will take it from there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeshua. Amen. Walk with the Most High in truth, in righteousness, in uprightness of heart. Shalom.